Okay, once you create an account and you log in, this is what you will see. Um, if the site has been updated where you can create a class to assign um, assignments to students. Or you can, and you can customize a Flexbook or a textbook for your students to use. So I'm going to go through how to create a Flexbook. So I'm going to click on Create a Flexbook. Okay, if you see here, we can title our Flexbook. So I'm just going to say um, Algebra. Algebra 1 Concepts. Okay, whatever topic you're talking about. And so we can save that. So we have Algebra 1 content saved. Um, and we can add to Flexbook here. Uh, we can edit. This is our publish. And this is how we share. This portion, this tab is for read. If you wanted to upload a file that you had, you can upload one. If you want to be really specific about details or describe, write a description, you can write it there. So I'm going to go to, lead, to read. Right now, there's no table of contents. I know it looks like it's still loading. So let's go to add to Flexbook. Okay. So we're going to add to Flexbook here. Okay. So that one's already created. So we can um, add content to this Flexbook by hitting the edit. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button a few minutes ago. I'm so sorry. So we're going to hit edit first. Then we're going to hit add content. And we can search through CK12. We can write our own. We can have a new chapter, several things. So. CK12 has very lots of resources, so we're going to go there. So I'm going to type in order of operations. That's um, an Algebra 1 concept. And search. So once it loads in, it sells con Flexbook concept, teacher edition, works books. And so it's showing one of 10. So you can choose to add this to your Flexbook, but you aren't able to preview it this way. So if we go ahead and add it, there it is. And once you open it up, you're able to edit it. We go to edit and preview. Okay, so once you hit edit, what's in the book will show in just a moment. That's the book. Now for me, and it has a video there, for me, I like to let's go ahead and save changes and get back out. I would like to preview and look at what I'm going to put in my Flexbook. This was like the blind way. So I'll show you a way that you can use in, um, and look at what you're doing. So we're going to go to my content. Or we can go to we have in my content, we only have one book that's order of operations. So we're just going to do a search. So now we can search order of operations. And search. And here are the things you can add. So if we look under flex books, the service all modalities. Study aids, assessments, all those have to do with order operations. Let's just click on Flexbook. That's where we get our reading materials. Okay. And here are some order of operations things that have already been created. So let's say we may like let me go down to and see I just created that one. Go to the next uh let's say middle middle school. Let's click on this one. So now you're able to see what you want. If you like algebra thinking, you might want to click on that or read it and back out of it using fractions. So this is where you can choose to add this to your Flexbook. So let's go to using fractions. 
okay so once you see the add to flexbook here we just simply click add flexbook choose the flexbook we created which was algebra one concept hit ok and it is added to the flexbook okay so it has been added so let's look let's go back to our my content and you see here algebra one uh, concepts and see there it has been added this is the first session of just how to create an ad the next time I will create a video on how to edit